Hello, happy Saturday morning, my friends. I've been working on some figures, so getting this finished, so got the second tanker ready to go. I built a peasant man to be looking at the tank, looking at what these two are up to. So that's gonna be the final layout there. Got the uh, T60 stuck down. So that's stuck onto the onto the base with super glue. Won't come off now, which is cool. Uh, this is coming along good. The experimental chipping project. So yeah, got them going on, but I've also got a uh, little peasant boy I'm gonna add to it as well. So I'm painting him up at the moment. Giving him some paint. So he's got some bright colours on. I'm just trying that out. So I've used some different kind of paints. So um, you see the top there, that's in turquoise or something. Uh, that, that's just one colour. It's called an interactive acrylic. It sort of acts like an oil. So I just slob it on the paint and then wait for a bit and then you come along with water and it just yeah you can get a lot of variation with it i'll show you it's uh oh i've got all these here so interactive acrylics i've got a few of them so i've got a white one this has been really good for mixing i'm really glad i got this because you get your little paint thing and you put whatever color in like say so your, your blue or whatever so you, you prime it in your blue and then you get your little paint tub and you put some of the color on a paintbrush and you put it into the little paint mixer and then you get your paintbrush and you dip it into this and then you mix it in it it, it it's the best mixing paint I've ever used for lightning colours and stuff. It's an interactive. It's uh, something different about the formulation of this acrylic paint. It's really, really good. So I've got a black one as well. And it's patented, I think. So it's made in Australia. But it's got patent numbers, so I'd say that this US has got a patent on it and it, you'd be able to find this elsewhere. So uh, this Australian company probably bought that, uh, bought the use of this patent. So I'd say you'd be able to get this in your country of origin. And um, I think they call it interactive acrylic, but you never know. You never know. So I've, I've also thought I'm going to make a crew for this. So I've got a winter uniform crew and I decided to go with a mini art one. And this is so fiddly. This machine gun is looks awesome, but it just, it's mini arts machine guns are terrible. So I had to take the front barrel off because it was just bent badly in the pack. So I'm going to reattach that. That, there it is. I'm going to reattach that with uh, super glue later but yeah i'm just letting this dry up for a bit in this position so i've got it all in the right way so i've got the you know because that's going to be his spot behind the turret so i'm just making sure the gun sits right uh blah 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 before i put his second arm on and um get him all together but it's so fiddly it just falls apart so i'm just going to let him dry for a bit and then i'll start putting the rest together just making sure it all fits right in his position that he's going to be. It's a good tank, this dragon tank. Like, um, Mini Art look good. They they do really look good, but they use this horrible plastic. It's a cheap place. This one, this is a solid tank. And I've put all this photo etch, see, they're, they're proper metal handles and stuff like that. And it's just, this is such a, be the, my best quality tank, I reckon. It's so good. At, and it's got a lot of weight to it, because I put weight in it. It's a really cool tank by Dragon. I like it. It's that one up there. That one. Really good. I liked it. But I've added lots of stuff to it. So I did it with a Dre, I mean the Border T34 76. And um, so I added a lot of the Border stuff to it as well. Like uh, these things. That was in the Dragon Pack. But I scratch built 
a lot of the stuff to it so I scratch built the the connection points and all that but yeah it's a cool little tank oh yeah and I put those stars on I, I um, did them with a template there's another one on the other side and yeah so I'll just get the crew sort of ready and uh, yeah we can do a little bit of weathering to this now um, you know we'll start with some black sort of washing pin washing and we'll get the some of the rusting come back just a little bit and yeah it's a cool little tank but yeah i'm just working away and experimenting I'm, I'm actually at the moment just trying to sort of get to the next level of skill so i'm doing a lot of experimenting i'm really trying to up my game in um figure painting all that kind of stuff so there will be more projects getting done but i'm just yeah just tying up a lot of the stuff i'm working on i've got uh this as well so this got flattened out so it was i had a bit of a bow because i made it out of plastic offcuts but i've got it all flattened out now so it's got its natural um inclination back so it goes up which is cool and it's starting to look good you know we're getting some interesting effects happening so I'm experimenting with just different things, trying to get different effects. So I wanted a dusty pathway there, but it's not all dusty. And then we've got some sort of green growth coming in the middle as well. But yeah, the path's all different. And then, you know, we've, I'm gonna make some more of these bricks and I'll start debriding up that, but I wanted this all under dirty and then I'll cover it in bricks. So you won't see much of the dirt once I've finished with it, but, um, yeah. And I'll put a poster on the wall, so I might put another one. And we got some glass in. Poster no glass. So everything's coming along nice. I'm just, I'm really happy, but yeah, just really trying to improve on things and make myself a better modeler. I, I do feel like I'm getting better because all of these figures are going to go on here. So I've got to get better at it because I've got a lot of figure painting coming up. You know, and, and these older figures I've done compared to my newer ones, I, ha I am improving a lot. You see, there's colour in his face. Uh, I've, I've highlighted a lot better, blah, blah, blah. I'm getting better at it and I'll, I will continue to improve opposed to these guys. All right, well, have a lovely day, guys. I'll probably make another video or something. We'll talk about more stuff. There's heaps of stuff to talk about because I do heaps of modeling. So I will speak to you again soon. Bye.